Hello everybody, and uh, <laughs> no, I haven't fallen off the face of the earth. Um, past couple of weeks, unfortunately, I had some hardware issues. Um, the laptop that I did my uh, voice recording on and the final editing on, unfortunately, is, is, is broken. It is completely and utterly broken. Um, I lost a few uh, clips in the process. I've lost my intro. I've lost my outro, which I'm going to have to recover. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm still doing this. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gone. I'm not gone. I will. I will always uh, rise from the dead, so to speak. Uh, so yeah, I'm running some new hardware now. Uh, I've got a much faster machine for doing uh, recording and editing on. Uh, a lot more space for doing it on as well, which is very very nice. Um, but it was a bit unfortunate. It did mean that I had to take a couple of weeks off to to sort these problems out. Uh, but it's good to be back. So good to be back. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit of a shorter episode today. I'm going to be doing some work down in the tunnel here again. Um, for the minecart station just here, I think. Yeah, something here. Not quite sure yet. Going to need uh, lots of track. Lots of uh, oak wood, perhaps. Maybe some birch as well. I want to make this look like a big, nice forested area covered in leaves. Um, and then as it moves down, it'll open up into either the desert or the savannah. Not too sure yet. We'll see when we get there. But yes, again, my apologies. I haven't gone. I am still here. I am still doing this. <laughs> so uh, please bear with me if uh, things are a little bit off for a little while, but uh, hopefully by the end of next week we'll be back into the uh, the swing of things again. I think, actually, just bear with me while I run all the way down this corridor. I might have a little bit of a surprise for you. God, it's such a long way away though. Yeah, uh, you can just about see it in the distance now. Look, both sides of this have been uh, completed. I need to do some work still to to finish the back off and put a proper roof in, a proper ceiling. Need lots more mycelium down there still. But yes, this is looking super fancy. Expanded this uh, pond. Um, it's not a lake. I called it a lake in an, in an episode. And a friend of mine... Uh, Pulled me up on that. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> it's not a it's not a lake. It's a pond. It's too small to be a lake. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and gather up some supplies. I'm gonna get some iron, make some tracks, uh, grab some oak wood, some birch woods, and I will catch you again shortly. All right, we're back again. And I've got some birch, some oak, and a load of leaves. And I've uh, widened the hallway a little bit as well here. Just to provide a bit more space. Uh, I'm thinking about raising this up as well. Just breaking this up with a few hills. And things like that. Just because I don't want it completely level. And there's going to be some trees poking out and things like that. Just to... Uh, you know, make it narrow and then make it wide and then make it narrow again as we go along. Just to keep it interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure where this is going yet. But we'll come to that when we get to it anyway. Um, for a start, I need to allow some space for the, the station. So I think we'll start here, perhaps. Uh, with an oak tree and then maybe another one here. Uh, I'll have to remove some more of this ceiling. And then perhaps a birch tree. I'm going to build all these trees by hand as well, just to, just because it's going to be easier than trying to grow them indoors, I think. <laughs> I've learned from the mistakes trying to do it with the mushrooms. Uh, perhaps needs... In fact, no, because we can do some small ones as well, some little low ones like this. Like some low bushes. And then cover all this up so that it comes all the way across. 
A lot of the stone's going to be hidden. Not really going to notice it. Hopefully, anyway. I'll plonk another one up there. Another one up there. And another one there. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's good. Um, get rid of a little bit more ceiling. Not very good at building natural looking trees, but for something like this, all you've really got to do is throw lots of leaves around. So <laughs> uh, it's going to look something like the Iron Golem room, I'd imagine, when it's done. We'll have that kind of feel to it anyway. And get rid of that in the back. Oh, good, gravel. I do love gravel. I can hide a torch in there as well. Just so it's not completely dark. So this this is the central line. These torches mark where the the track's going to go. It's going to be a complete straight line. Um, hopefully not too fast that you're going to miss everything as we go through. Actually, I know what I'm going to put here. Maybe or maybe a bit further down. I think I'll build like the front of the the cabin in the woods or a sort of scaled down version of it perhaps that could look quite interesting in fact yeah definitely perhaps a bit further along perhaps somewhere here or maybe this side no that would definitely look cool <laughs> uh, anyway crack on with these leaves for now i think get some more of these trees placed Well, hello, Mr. Cow. Thank you for joining us. That's it. Oh, and sheep as well. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Looks like we've built a, a passive mob farm down here. Awesome. Um, so I've done a little bit on the other side now. And this is looking just how I want it. Actually, it's quite nice. <laughs> nice deep foresty look. Uh, Get some uh, bone meal in here and make it look a bit more natural. Haven't done too far down here. Oh wow, three sheep. One, two, three. I can count. Uh, this is the spot that I've picked out for the little cabin. Uh, it's only going to be a small version of it with the roof. Um, I didn't want to go too high uh, simply because I can't be bothered to dig all of that out. To, to build the full cabin, that's going to be around eight blocks tall, so that's too much. <laughs> um, although that said, no, no, it's only going to be a small one. Only needs to be a small one. But look at this. This is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. And when this is all done, all the way down, with all the different biomes and all the little points of interest, uh, it's probably going to be more fun to walk down than it is actually to take the minecarts, but... Uh, yeah, <laughs> never mind. Uh, going to attempt a little bit of uh, on-camera redstone now. This could uh, this could be quite interesting. I want to put the minecart station in, if I can. Um, the design I'm going for, you can see I've got my redstone bits and pieces here. The design I'm going for is uh, one that I found on Exumavoid's channel. Um, you'll often hear me mention the Hermit Crafters quite a bit because what they do is vanilla Minecraft, so it's pretty much transferable to the console edition very, very easily. Um, right, so I have refreshed my memory um, by looking at the video, but I'm going to attempt to do this without checking on it again. Uh, I need to dig down a little bit further than this. Uh, oh, hello. What's down there? Nothing. Okay. Up we go again. So let's think about this. So if that's where... Let's say that's where the pressure plate is going to be. Here. Now this needs to be redstone. I need to clear some of this dirt out. 
Let's just get rid of all of it for now. It's just going to get in the way. There we go. And this is going to be... Uh, get my inventory sorted here. A little bit of out of practice. <laughs> I've only been gone a couple of days. Well, a couple of weeks, I suppose. So this needs to be a redstone line that goes there, there, and then drops down again. I think. And then this one has a torch on it. Like this. And in theory, yep, so far so good. Now, that's going to be the dispenser. Or is it? No, that's going to be the dispenser. Yep. Uh, what's next? I'll clear a little more space here. Right, so this... So it's going to have an automatic collection system, so as the carts come in, they'll be destroyed on a piece of cactus, which will be here. Wow, the pressure's really on here to get this right, I suppose. <laughs> uh, plonk some dirt on the top of there for just to stop that growing for the time being. Now, what was next? get some more grass back because that was grass I'm sure it was and then this would be nope that's right this would be powered rail something isn't right this is a block further along and then the torch on there and now I think this line has to be broken can't have that connecting so let's put a piece of that there uh, Oh no, yeah, this is working, this is working. Um, so there would be a block on here. So far, so good. Let's put some mine carts in. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Grab that back quickly. Right, so now we need to feed a line. Oh, <laughs> bye. So now I need to feed a line of hoppers in from here into here. So that shouldn't be too difficult. That's where's my hoppers? So one, two. three and four and grab that mine cart back quickly uh, that doesn't need to be a power rail that needs to be a normal rail I think that's it I think I've done it uh, there needs to be a pane of glass in here. Well, it's not completely necessary, I suppose. And then that will just send us on our way. And then there'll be another one of these stations at the other end. Right down the other end near the skeleton grinder. That will pick up the cart. And deposit it back into the... Into the system. Wow, I did it. 
I built something that worked first time. So proud of myself. <laughs> so I'm going to tidy this up a bit, smart it up a little bit. And then I'll join you again in a second. And there we have it. The minecart entrance looking fantastic. Lots and lots of work still to do on it, but uh, I'll come to that soon. Um, I think I'm going to end this episode here today. Uh, it's Like I say, it was always going to be a bit of a short one <laughs> this time around. Um, I need to get rid used to my new computer and the uh, the new software that I've got as well, so uh, you know, nice simple welcome back video almost. But uh, I promise that next week things will return to normal. Uh, the tutorials will come back on Tuesdays, and we'll get back to the two Let's Play episodes every week, and possibly the start of a new series. Um, more to come on that later though. I'm going to hold that one back for now because I did say I was going to do it at 100 subscribers and at the moment I'm only on 89. So uh, instead of um, begging for likes like I normally do at the end of the videos, I'm going to ask a different favour this time. Maybe if you were feeling generous, you would pass a link on to one of your friends perhaps or just share a link to one of my videos on social media. Oh, I forgot about this, yeah. This is a work in progress. Yes, maybe um, share a link on social media for me. Try and uh, help me get up to that 100 mark, the triple figures subscribers mark. Um, because I do have something very, very exciting planned. I have two things very exciting planned, actually. Um, one of them's a little bit further off in the future. Uh, but for now, I've been Angry Terrapin. And uh, yeah, it's been a stressful couple of weeks, I tell you. Bye-bye for now.